Hello, this is Louis Lafleur. Some of you know me as Lafla Sensei. Today we'll be playing Kerbo Space Program for the very first time. Okay, so I told you how to install the game in the previous video. In this video, I'll just show you how to start the game and uh, what you should be doing first. Okay, so I put it in my applications folder. KSP demo here oh and you can double click here or you can make an icon for your desktop but I made one right here but down, there we go double click on that basically if you played with Lego when you were young or you ever enjoyed a building game or building things you will like this game uh, you don't need to be very good at math or physics. Uh, I'm not. And uh, just by playing it, you will learn how to play well. Uh, the game might ask you if you want to send your IP information to make the game better. If you have good internet and you don't mind, do it. But you don't have to do it. You can click don't send my IP if you don't want to send your game information to the people who made the game. Okay, so first you should click on start game. Uh, second thing you should do is uh, start new if this is the first time. You could also resume if you've already played the game. Start new. There are two options here, sandbox or career. Actually, I recommend sandbox if you're playing for the very first time. Um, basically, career, you have to go to different buildings, you have to do different things, get contracts. But Sandbox, you can just customize and build ships right from the beginning. So maybe you should just test it out first. Uh, try Sandbox. Okay, I'll write my name, Louis, and let's start. Oh, okay, here, I've already had a game. Yes, okay, so basically if you already have a game started, you have to resume your save. There you go. I'll just resume that. So the first thing you'll want to do is go to the vehicle assembly building. That's the building uh, that is in the middle of the map. It's where you can build spaceships. Uh, in the demo version, this is the demo, you can only use uh, this building right here. To build spaceships. Um, if you buy the game, actually this building right here on the left, uh, you can build airplanes as well. Oh, I left my... Oh, Louis the First. Actually, I tried, uh, I played it a bit before and I made a spaceship. If ever you have a spaceship on a launch pad, just recover it. Click on it, recover so it goes back. There you go, no harm done. And here I'll click on the VAB the vehicle assembly building in the middle and this is where you will build your first spaceships there are two kinds of spaceships you can make one with uh, people inside you'll need a command pod or uh, one uh, with no one on board uh, but basically you have less control it's harder to control these robots and it's easier to control uh, with a command pod because you can have a pilot inside. So right here on the top of the screen, you can click on this blue button crew. Okay, so Jebediah is in. Actually, he's a pilot. This would help a lot with my control. But I want to challenge myself. And I'll use a scientist, Bob. I like his name. I think he's the best. Even if he's not a pilot, I'm sure he will be able to uh fly the spaceship anyway okay after you can click back on parts here and continue building your spaceship the first thing you should do is start with an easy 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 design i think the biggest mistake people make is they try to make a really really nice and big design first don't do that make a simple design actually click on engines here and I would suggest you use one of these two engines, the RT-10 or RT-5. 
they are solid fuel boosters and they're much easier uh, to uh, basically uh, control not control but they're much easier to uh, work at first so just take maybe one I'll take the small one the RT5 put it under next uh, maybe you could try putting something else you could click on utility here and put a parachute on your spaceship. There you go. And you have your first spaceship. I'll call it Louis the First. Save that. Okay, sorry, I'll just move my face. Oh, actually, my webca webcam was off this whole time. I'll put it back on. I'll just put it a little higher here. Okay, so we'll be able to see the Kerbal's face when we launch this. Great, great, great design. Uh, well, I am a language teacher, but uh, basically I think if ever I quit my language teaching job, I would be a great engineer. So I will demonstrate how great I am by launching this rocket. Uh, the controls are very easy if you have a solid booster rocket basically the only uh, key you have to push is spacebar to launch your rocket okay so under my face you'll see Bob wait a minute I'll put my, I'll put my webcam right next to Bob's uh, face there you go Bob you and me are in this together okay let's do this Bob man Bob 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 Sorry, hey, there he is. Bob doesn't look so... Uh, <laughs> he looks scared. Bob, don't worry. I am the greatest engineer in the world. You'll see. Everything will go well. I'm, I'm just going to show my students how to make a spaceship here. Okay? Okay, let's do this. Space bar. Let's go, Bob. Oh, sorry. Here, I'll click here. Space bar. Start. There you go. See, everything is fine. Whoa. What's, oh my god! What's happening? <laughs> oh no, my parachute! My parachute went off at the same time as my rocket. Oh no, Bob! Don't die, Bob! Bob! How's your face? But You look concerned. Don't worry, Bob. The parachute will save you. And yes, let's zoom out. Yes, you're fine. There we go. So yes, you can use your uh, mouse scroll key to zoom in and zoom out. See, everything is fine. I'll just uh, make this a little faster. If you want to uh, accelerate the game, here, don't show again. Uh, if we, just push period. If you push period, the game will go faster. If you push comma, the game will go slower. And you can go back to normal speed. There we go. Oh, what's happening? <laughs> oh my god! Are you okay? Yeah, you're okay. Let's let you get out of here. And yes, you will live to fly another day. There we go. So, basically, I made a huge, 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 huge mis uh, mistake. My mistake was I had my parachute and engine uh, you know I enabled them at the same time okay let's fix that and how you fix a mistake in this game reload press escape and then click on revert flight go back to the assembly building or just go back to launch I'll go back to the assembly building and I'll show you how to fix this okay so yes in the building you'll see that at the bottom right of the screen yes yeah, right next to my face if you go here you'll see that the there's a zero and there's the engine and the parachute here click on the small plus make a different stage of action what you want to do is uh, the bottom will be first the top will be last so you want your parachute to be up here and you want your engine to be down here click on the engine drag it drag it down drop it so the engine will be number one will go first and the parachute will be last zero 
Okay, let's call this Louis the Second. There we go. <laughs> this design will be much, much better, I'm sure. Okay, is everything right here? Sorry, okay. Oh, I deleted, did I just delete my, I deleted my parachute. How did I do that? Sorry, I'll just put it back on. I made a mistake, put that back on. Again, click here. Pull the engine down. Click out of there, save. Okay, let's do this again. So yes, always make sure that everything is logical. This first, this second. So in the, uh, when you'll play the game, this game more and more, you'll have rockets with many, many stages, many, many rockets on the same ship. So the bottom or the boosters, you want the boosters to go first, you'll put them bottom. Then you'll want your main engine to go up. You got That could be second. And then your parachutes could be third, third last. Okay, so let's try this again. Don't worry, Bob, I'm, I'm an expert. There we go. Oh, look at this. What a beautiful game. There we go. You look a little concerned, Bob. Everything is fine. I'm I'm an expert. Don't worry. Okay. So, as you see, I ran out of fuel. Your fuel is on uh, the left side, the left side of the screen. And uh yes, I'm out of fuel, but I'm still going up. This is called physics. My speed, I, I still have some speed. I'm just slowing down. It's basically like when you're in a car. You push on the gas. You let go of the gas while you're still going forward, but you'll be losing speed little by little. Now I'm going at 100 meters per second. You can look right here at this little screen right in the middle uh, of your uh, screen. Now I'm going 50 meters per second. I've made it all the way up to about 7,800 meters. And what goes up must come down. Yes. So here you can wait for it to fall down. Or you can uh, push period. Period, period. I want to go four times regular speed. Now, the secret is you cannot open your parachute way up. I would say wait for 2,500 meters. Open your parachute. There we go. And this should be working. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm going at 25 meters per second now. At this speed, if I hit the ground, actually, that's quite fast. But don't worry. When uh, my ship will reach 500 meters, the parachute will fully open and I will be able to hit the ground slowly. Lower atmosphere, more air. Upper atmosphere, not so much air. So I'll just wait a bit and my parachute will fully open. Period, period, period. Let's go faster. See, Bob? That wasn't too bad. <laughs> why, why doesn't he look happy? He should look happy. I didn't kill him. Come on, Bob. Be happy. Here we go. And now, yes, my parachute is fully open. And I will hit the ground. Bob will be happy. I will be happy. And yes, this uh, is an example of how you should play this game. And first, you should make a simple, simple design. Uh, and then make more complicated designs as you go. Okay, I'll show you one more, uh, one more common mistake people make. <laughs> Actually, I, I made the uh, mistake of uh, opening my parachute at the same time as uh, enabling my engine. Bob, look at you, look at you, Bob. You're so happy, there you go. I told you I'm the best engineer in the world. There we go, okay, let's go back. Revert flight, 
I'll show you another mistake uh, many uh, people make when they play this game first. So you have to understand there are two different types of fuel in this game. Solid fuel and liquid fuel. Don't mix them. Okay, so this is the common mistake right here. Fuel tanks right here. Um, many of you might think, oh, if I put a fuel tank right here and I connect my rocket, um, yeah, my rocket will have more fuel. Therefore, I can go higher and I can go for longer. Actually, no. This right here on the top is liquid fuel. This in the bottom is solid fuel. This rocket cannot use the fuel. So basically, this fuel tank weighs 1.125 mass points. So it will only make my rocket heavier and I won't go as high up. Let's test this. Science, my friends. Again, test your designs. Make mistakes. That's how you'll learn. I mean, I've never taken a physics class in my life. Math, yes, but physics, never. And this game taught me uh, a little bit of, you know, practical knowledge of physics when it comes to, you know, space exploration and rockets. Okay, let's try this. So remember, my previous record was 7,800. Let's see how high I can go with this extra fuel I put on. Huh, Bob? How high do you think this one is going to go? Well, okay, let's see. Oh god, I'm out of fuel. I'm only up to 2,000 meters now. Okay, let's see. Accelerate, comma, comma, comma. How high can you go? My record was 7,800. And my record this time is 4,500. That's about 3,000 uh, meters less. Why? Because this fuel cannot be used by this rocket. That's why. So yes, you can have solid uh, rockets as boosters, basically. But if you want to put it, um, if you want a main engine to be liquid, put a liquid engine on your liquid tank. Do not, I repeat, do not put... Oh, parachute time. Sorry, Bob, I almost forgot your parachute. <laughs> Uh, do not forget to put a uh, liquid engine on uh, this, on a, uh, on a liquid tank. Okay, I, we know you'll be fine. Time accelerate, yes. Okay, I was going to f stop this video right now, but actually I'll just show you what engine you can use if you want to use liquid fuel. Okay, let's go back to the assembly building, revert flight, vehicle assembly. So yes, there are two kinds, in the demo version of the game, there are two kinds of um, uh, solid rockets. Again, the RT-5 and the RT-10, RT-5, there's only one kind of liquid fuel engine, it's called the LVT. 30. And yes, a liquid fuel, you can stack it up. I can put two, three tanks. My acceleration won't be as fast because I'll be heavier if I have three tanks, but I'll be able to go longer, therefore a little higher. Okay, let's put the only liquid fuel engine in this game, the LVT-30. Well, I wonder if this design can go to space. Okay, again, don't make the same mistake. Click here, put your engine down. There you go, engine first, parachute last. There you go. Louis the third, or the fourth. There you go. Save that. Let's launch. Okay, let's, I'm, I'm curious. I'm, I wonder if I can make it to space. In this game, space is uh, 70,000, 70,000 meters. Uh, in real, real Earth, on, on Earth, I think actually space starts around 150,000 meters. This 
planet here, Kerbin, is twice as small as Earth. Uh, therefore, this might explain why the atmosphere is not as vast, in, in this case at least. Okay, so liquid rockets. One thing you need to know is you can control your power. Z, your power gauge will go up. You can see it right in the middle. If in the middle, X down. So if I push now, it won't start. So I recommend you go with Z first and push Z and when you're ready, space bar. There we go. Wow, look at that. Yes, now I can use the fuel because I have a liquid fuel engine. I'll just push T for a little more stability. Oh, Bob, you're not a pilot, but you can still drive this thing. Uh, you're my hero. Scientists are the best. Huh? There we go. Let it go up. Let's see how high this thing can go. I've used, as you can see on the left side of the screen, I've used about half my fuel, but I'm going very fast, 500 meters per second. And uh, yes. And at first, the air is very dense. Now the air is kind of like blocking my ship. And now there's still air, and I'm hitting the air so fast, I'm burning up. But don't worry, these ships are somewhat resistant to heat. Let's see how high I can go. Wow, 1,000 meters per second. Good. Whoa, 1,500 meters per second. That's, that's fast. Okay, I'll keep a little bit of fuel. See here, I press X. I'll keep a little bit of fuel to slow me down for when I come back. Okay. Oh, yes, I think I will reach space. Space in uh, on this planet starts at 70,000 meters. Again, Earth is about double that. And the music, the space music should turn on when I reach it. Oh, Bob, are you happy? You're going to space. You're the first Kerbin that will go to space. Wow. Look at that. Well, I'm actually going higher than I thought. Let's see. If you push the M key, you can uh, get a map, kind of like a planet map view. And see how this looks here. Oh, actually, I will go as high as 220... 7,000 meters before going back down and whew, hitting the ocean, yes. So I'll just time accelerate. Actually, I'll be going down so fast, I might burn up on re-entry. Okay, comma, comma, comma. Slow down, slow down. And yes, one recommendation I have, uh, make sure you uh, you can control your ship, actually, you can move your ship with these uh, arrows, which are A makes it move left, D right, W up, W up, and S down. Okay, come back, come back, down, I'm pushing S right now. Okay, I want to point this way as I'm going down. And push T. When you want your ship to stop moving, just push T. And I will turn on... Oh, I'm going way too fast. I'll turn on my engines to slow me down. Uh oh Oh! <laughs> no more gas! I didn't keep enough gas. Oh my god, what? No, Bob! Bob, don't worry. You can, you can do this. Uh, oh no, we're going way too fast. My parachute is not going to work here. Uh, Bob, Bob, don't worry. I have a plan, okay? You're going to eject, okay? You're going to do an EVA. I'm going to click on you. EVA time. Okay, jump, jump, jump. Uh, oh, did you survive? Come on, Bob. Some, I don't know how, but... Oh, my God. Oh, my Bob. 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 Bob, are you okay? I don't know how, but you survived this. How did you ha ever survive this? My God, without 
Bob, you're my new hero, Bob. Oh my god. Anyway, <laughs> I think I'll finish this video right here. 